Hi everyone, Richard at Plum Dog here. So I'll just come out to a property in Como, Western Australia, and the customers just bought this house and just moved in just a couple of days ago. So a beautiful house. Um, but out in the uh, rear patio near the pool, you can smell gas. So as soon as I've walked around the corner here, yeah, I can smell gas for sure. So you can actually see on the wall there, there's here a bayonet fitting which you can have these fittings outside for things like barbecues and the heaters um, and also you might be familiar with that look um, for sort of indoor space heaters as well so it's just a bayonet fitting where you get the hose and and just clink it up and, and turn so because there's a gas fitting there and I can smell gas it's it's likely to be that so I just thought I'd put together a quick video because there are there is a little test that um, so that anyone can do, um, and that is to use soapy water. So those who've got um, LPG bottles for barbecues and things, you might be familiar that when you change the bottle, um, they always advise to spray it with a bit of soapy water uh, because if there's any leaks on it, it'll actually start bubbling up. Well, it's the same thing here really with natural gas. So I'm just gonna give it a little spray. I haven't done it yet, so uh, I hope I'm right. Otherwise, I might not post this video, but we'll see. But what I'm expecting to see is that we'll start seeing bubbles coming out of the bottom here, which is likely going to tell us that it's basically a, like a, a spring-loaded um, rubber in there. Um, so when you put the hose in and connect, it pushes the spring up and allows the gas to come through. Or when you disconnect it, that should seal um, using that spring. So I've got a feeling that if I... Then it's going to start bubbling. So let's have a look. I'm just going to turn the camera around. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. Alright, underneath, it's quite a big hole under there. So I'm not sure if you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. So you can see in the center of that sort of brass colored fitting that sits down. You can't really see any bubbling around it. So what I'm gonna do, if I just hold my hand flat, doing it a second ago let me can you see those bubbles coming out so that means there's a gas leak inside of that bayonet and it's not quite sealing properly and that's why we've got a smell of gas So it's not bad, it's only a tiny, tiny leg. But it's enough to see, so. All right, so we're just at the gas meter now. Got the manometer set up. So, just got the hose connected. Looped around to the manometer here. And then, so we're just gonna do a test. So, basically the, uh, the, the, get, the gas is off now. And so it should be, should hold, because there shouldn't be any leaks anywhere. And so what we're just doing is we're just gonna look for that to see whether there's any movement. So you can see that the, basically the two sides of the gauge. So we're measuring there, which is showing us basically 2.3 kPa. Now we need to do it needs to hold for five minutes, so a five minute test without any movement, but it's hard to see, but it, it's moving very, very slowly. So you can see it's almost gone from 2.3 kPa to 2.2 already. So just confirm. 
confirms that yes, there's a very, very small leak on there, so. All right, so we know there's a leak, we can smell it. We've used the soapy spray, which pretty much anyone can do um, to, to find where the leak is. But now it comes a time where yeah, you really do need to be a, a gas fitter to make any changes to the gas. So I'll, um, I'll cap off the bayonet to start with because I am limited with time. The customer's actually having issues with their hot water now. They isolated the gas and they can't get the hot water started again. So, and it's Friday afternoon. So I'll just get that capped off. I'll retest the meter here. And if then it holds, I'll concentrate my time on getting them hot water again for the weekend. And then um, whether or not I've got time today just to get a supplier and spin a new bayonet on there um, today or whether I'll come back Monday morning just to finish that off. So, um, but yeah, let's get that let's get that leak stopped. And then at least the, the gas is back to normal and get that hot water on. So we're just left with a brass thread coming out the wall. I'm just gonna put a cap on there just to do another gas test. And you can actually see the bayonet that we're taking off. So the gas goes through there and you can see that spring at the back. So when you plug in a hose, you can see that it lifts up on that spring. So we're inside that it's obviously just not seating properly or the or the rubber washer has perished but yeah gas will be escaping out of there so yellow gas tape minute test now making sure the bubble doesn't drop which will tell us that the gas leak has been fixed All right, it's passed its gas test and just at the meter when we put the screw back in we do the, at the test point again we use soapy water and look can you see how it's bubbling so I thought I'd tighten it up but it's still leaking a little bit so had I not test there with, spr with squirty water I would have left the gas leak so a lot of this gas fitting you I'm sure you all know that you can't do it yourself you need to be licensed Even as gas fitters use soapy water. It's still leaking. Right, time to redo it. That's better. No more leaks. The sun is shining now. It's been absolutely peeing down with rain all day. My jumper's drenched. The sun is shining again. I love Perth. All right, so as you saw, put just a, a cap on there, just so that we can uh, get the gas back on and concentrate on the hot water being Friday afternoon. So um, I can come back and, and just put a new bayonet on there anytime, really. So we've done the test, we know there's no leaks, and just as a final check, 
I always spray just to make sure because obviously, obviously a tiny, tiny leak <coughs> won't show so easily on the manometer. So I'll just keep my eye on that, but all good. So, all right, so we found a gas leak using soapy water, which you guys can do. You then have to call someone like myself, a qualified gas fitter out to repair it and then we can submit a gas safety certificate to um, to the gas supplier or energy safety just to let them know that the job has been done by a qualified professional and there's no more gas leaks so there you go hope you enjoyed that video hopefully that's a helpful hint for you all um, now I'm going to go and concentrate on the hot water system and get the hot water back so thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video take care goodbye